What's good? I'm that gamer boy Chaos, and today I want to have a little conversation about Roblox. Now, the reason why I want to talk about Roblox is because I saw this video right here. When I first saw this shit, it was too fucking funny because I'm like, yo, like, it's actually relatable. I don't think I ever played that game in particular. I, I don't know what that game is called, but I have played a, a similar game to it where when Slender Man got you, that picture popped up. And pretty much what happened was it was this Slender Man and Bikini Bottom game or whatever. I don't know if it's still on, on Roblox because Roblox doesn't change so much that all the old games are non-existent at this point. But I was playing that game. I was I was young. I don't remember how old I was, but I was young. And so the first thing I noticed was that number one, I was the only one in that game. So I was already a little unnerved by that. But also, they spawned me in front of SpongeBob's house. And the sky was all gray and cloudy and shit. And I didn't even get to move before Slender Man was behind me and fucking got me. And that picture popped up and I was shook at this fuck. And so when I saw this video, like it just made me feel so nostalgic about the old Roblox because when I tell you Roblox back then was so good, like it's genuinely a shell of what the fuck it used to be because like what we have today on Roblox is absolute garbage and it's nothing more than garbage. Like words can't describe how good Roblox was back then. Like you could curse, like it was so much fun and shit. But with the cursing part, like people like to argue that Roblox was always a kid's game. But to that I say, how come Roblox came out in 2006 and it took until 2016, 10 years later, that they started censoring curse words. Like if it's been a kid's game, don't you think they would have came out the woodworks censoring curse words? Like I, honestly, I can't, like when I, I remember when I first saw that they were censoring curse words, like I was just looking at the chat and you know, actually it's funny because I think what happened was I was actually playing this game called Stop It Slender. So like once again, Slender Man is still in the mix, but I was playing Stop It Slender I was looking at the chat, and I'm like, why are people putting hashtags in the chat? And so, eventually, it crossed my mind. I was like, wait a minute. And so, I, I typed in a curse word. I'm, I'm like, are they seriously censoring curse words right now? Like, why are they starting to do this? Like, Roblox has been out for how long? But yeah, that shit was just so fucking traumatic for me. Because I'm like, yo, like... I, I like I like cursing people out like I was <laughs> I remember like I'll begin to arguments with people even at a young age like I was getting into arguments with people cursing them out and shit and it, it was it was funny as shit and cringe but you know nevertheless still funny and nostalgic and speaking of arguing with people on Roblox I remember last year I was playing this game called Baker's Valley with one of my family members and pretty much <laughs> Like this is a game that we played years ago and like we were playing it to like start problems with people because like when we when we were first playing it years ago there was this one girl in the game who I like we felt like she thought she was a manager or some shit because she was over here telling people to take take a break and we were just like shut up like we take a break when we want to or whatever and like it, it was really mean but like it was funny because because <laughs> like every now and then we'd be like let's take a break guys come on take a break like <laughs> and like literally nobody's gonna get the reference but us and we have a whole bunch more fucking like inside jokes with <laughs> encounters we had with people in roblox but and th with this situation right here that happened last year we were talking shit and like like mind you the chat was was dead like nobody was talking in the chat like nobody was talking until we joined and we were the only ones talking and like occasionally there would be somebody like trying to fight back or whatever but we would shut them down. But anyway, as we're talking shit, there was this one person that we were kind of like really targeted for some reason. And it was like, it's messed up, but it's funny at the same time. Cause like, we, we, we not really like bullying them or whatever, but like we just being a nuisance pretty much. And so we were, <laughs> we said, don't be eating the cakes. And then I said, yeah, cause she needs to drop a couple pounds. And after I said that I had got banned and they said I was banned for a day. And they told me, they was like showing me all the shit that I said that led up to me getting banned. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Like, this is the first time in like 10, wait, hold on. How old? I started in playing Roblox in 2012. I made my account in 2012. So it's turning 12 this year. And last year it was 11. So that was the first time in 11 years that my account has ever gotten banned. And I'm like, yo, all I did was tell her to drop a couple pounds. Like, what the fuck? So yeah, that was pretty crazy. And then even now Roblox has voice chat and 
<sighs> let's just say back in 2020, like I would, I would come home from school every day arguing with people on Roblox, both on Xbox and <laughs> on on a uh, PC. And I could only dream of having voice chat on on PC because on it has voice chat on Xbox, but like nowadays it's kind of fucked up like people be responding to shit that you said like 30 minutes ago and shit but um yeah that was just <laughs> that shit got me scared now like i don't even want to talk in the voice chat but back to the video as you can see they were playing a horror game and you know they got the little horror music the nah, 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 nah. like that look that little tune right there yeah that that classic uh surviving kill the killers in area 51 music so Speaking of the games, like, they were just so good back then as well. Like, now everything is whack. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but shit is so whack nowadays. Like, yes, the graphics are getting better and, and shit, but, like, when it comes to, like, the quality of the game, it's not fucking there. Like, it's trash. And even with the horror games, like, all right, now with the horror games, like, yes, the graphic, like I said, the graphics are getting better. Like, they're, they're having better textures and shit. Like, they're adding, I guess animated jump scares or whatever i don't fucking know but back then the horror games were actually fucking scary because you see the thing is there's this one game that i played years ago and once again it was another horror game where i was the only one in there and somehow i was bold enough to stay and actually try to play it so this game was called face your fears i don't exactly remember what they had you doing in the game but i remember that you were walking down this long hallway and then right before you turned the corner or whatever there was a there was a picture that popped up on the screen of like some scary looking bitch and that scared the shit out of me i left the game and i'm like yo i'm never touching this fucking game again like nah and i feel like that's what really made the the um horror games back then scary because like like you you just you just playing the game just casually chilling then some shit just pop up on your screen scaring the fuck out of you and like i, I don't know that just makes me feel so nostalgic and it, it was just <laughs> <laughs> like it was just so nice and there's actually this one um uh surviving kill the killers in area 51 game that i have and my favorites that damn near every monster in there has one of those jump scares that pop up on your screen and so i like i really fuck with that because that that's what roblox need like not these these pussy ass little jump scares like these fucking blocky ass lego ass player mo not player models but these blocky ass models fucking having a damn seizure all up close to your screen and shit like I'm sorry, but like, like, Roblox nowadays just really pissed me off. Like, back then it was just so much better. But the last point I want to make is that now it's just so fucking cringe and terrible. Like I said, the games are whack. There, there's really no replay value for a lot of them. The quality isn't there. Like, the, the people who are, are playing Roblox, like, their characters just be looking a fucking mess. Like, I. I hate seeing these motherfuckers with this with this one leg shit. Like I don't know if you've ever seen it, but like they like their character is normal, right? They they got they got both their arms, but they got one leg though. And the other where the other leg is supposed to be, it's like this little this little bone or whatever. It, it looks fucking stupid. I'm like, yo, you look fucking stupid. And those be the main people talking the most shit. And I'm telling you, back in 2020, I was always going off on people. Like because they would they just they just had me all types of fucked up simple as that but like roblox now is just so trash and like it's you know it, it's not even really worth playing anymore but because like now all i do is just play tycoons and it's just like damn yeah, like I, I miss playing the old games like I, I miss going on roblox i miss being at my grandma's house going on the computer and just spending hours on there playing roblox it was just so much fucking fun like uh, but you know we're, we're in the day and the age of this cringe ass shit and it's absolutely terrible like and it's kind of crazy to think that roblox is turning 20 years old unless you want to count it as already turning 20 because dinoblox which is like a beta form of roblox that came out in 2004 i don't know but anyway if you enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the bell notification shit do all that good shit and i'll see you next time